You already had announced that you were going to not run for re-election. Why leave now and leave a vacancy in an already very narrow majority for your party? I, I think this place is dysfunctional. True. In a surprise move, Republican Congressman Ken Buck announced that he will be leaving Congress sooner than expected. And he's officially stepping down from his congressional seat by the end of next week. Now, Buck had previously announced that he would not seek reelection. But he was previously expected to finish his term. Turns out that's not the case. He issued a statement on the matter which read, It has been an honor to serve the people of Colorado's fourth district in Congress for the last nine years. I want to thank them for their support and encouragement throughout the years. Today, I am announcing that I will depart Congress at the end of next week. I look forward to staying involved in our political process, as well as spending more time in Colorado with my family. Now, Buck's resignation now requires Governor Jared Polis of Colorado to set up a special election for Buck's vacant seat. Now, with that in mind, this news came as a surprise to House Speaker Mike Johnson, who stated that this early retirement totally caught him off guard. I was surprised by Ken's announcement. I'm looking forward to talking with him about that. And you knew about Trump not supporting TikTok. Now, Ken Buck has a different story entirely. He disputed the statement saying that he did in fact inform Mike Johnson. I don't care either way, doesn't matter. But what I do care about is what Buck had to say in that interview with Dana Bash on CNN today. Because he had some choice words for the Republican Party and the dysfunction that he has been experiencing. Let's watch. I'm resigning my seat and creating a vacancy in my district. Why? Well, everywhere I go in Colorado, Dan, I hear that people are not happy with Trump and they're not happy with Biden. And I think we need to change our electrical, electoral laws here. And I have a passion for that. And I'm going to leave and I'm going to find the right organization to join. And I'm going to start working on that issue. We have to have better candidates up and down the ballot, not just president, but Senate, House, local offices. We've got to find better ways to elect candidates and bring America together. Uh, there is such tension among House Republicans that many of them aren't even going to a retreat that's going to happen at the end of this week. Is is that tension part of why you're leaving so abruptly? I, I think this place is dysfunctional. For example, I am the, the number third ranking member of the Judiciary Committee. I haven't even asked my questions yet. Forty, fifty people have gone before me. But that that could be personal. With, with well, all it, it could be personal, but but it, but a lot of this is personal. That's the problem. Instead of having decorum, instead of uh, uh, operating in a professional manner, this place has just evolved into this bickering and, and nonsense and not, not really doing the job for the American people. A lot of mainstream media don't give you honest news. We do, you know why? Because of you. Paid membership on YouTube makes all the difference. Hit the join button below and you become the hero that sustains us. Now, Buck was one of the Republicans who voted against Kevin McCarthy. In fact, voted in favor of ousting McCarthy. He was part of the House Freedom Caucus, which is you know further to the right in the Republican Party. And he also voted against the impeachment of Alejandro Mayorkas, the head of the Department of Homeland Security. And so I'm sure that ruffled some feathers in the Republican Party. But I overall agree with Ken Buck in that Overall, not just with Republicans, but overall, Congress has become dysfunctional, useless, full of egotistical, narcissistic individuals who only care about their own political power, but do nothing on behalf of the American people. The real question is, Cenk, do you believe that Buck is leaving to do something more productive for the American people? Yeah, that was my main question for sure. Mm -hmm. So I'm super curious about it. So let me break down how all this came about. So. Sometime within the last year, Ken Buck started bucking his party, if you will. Okay, so, and I was like, oh, that's curious. They almost never step out of line. I mean, there's two different groups. There's like the, the crazed right wing, but that's more populist and sometimes genuinely populist, most of the time not. And then there's the corporate guys, which is 90% of the party, and they, and they always pretty much do the same thing. But Buck started jumping back and forth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when he was against impeaching Mayorkas, now that's a little bit later on in this process, but I was like, oh no, that's it, he's gone, right? There's, you can't like go against a Republican piece of theater 
That's like the biggest no-no of all. You could vote against McCarthy, you could vote against a particular bill, Thomas Massey votes against almost every bill, etc. But when they're putting on a show and you come and throw eggs at the show, mm -hmm. they they don't like that, right? So he was he was going rogue, it was obvious. And many things he did uh, implied that he was going rogue. And but what was interesting about that and why I'm bringing it up, guys, is because then he started acting like an actual legislator. Like with independent judgment. And when we saw, when Anna and I saw him acting with independent judgment, and mind you, we disagree with him the great majority of the time, right? But we thought, oh, he must be leaving <laughs> because there's no one that plans to stay there that isn't a phony, that is gonna tell you the truth or that's gonna have an independent point of view. No, they're gonna line up with whatever faction they're in and they're gonna vote that way 98% of the time. That's what they all do. So when the when one of the robots malfunctions, you know they're on their way out, and and they're doing it because they're not running for re-election. Because if you do that when you're running for re-election, there's going to be consequences. Then the leadership in your party is not going to share some of that PAC money with you. Mm -hmm. Some of the donors are going to pull out. You're going to find a primary opponent against you, mm -hmm. especially if you dare cross Trump. Of course, right? That's obvious. So now that leaves the main question. Now that the buck stops here, <laughs> literally. Okay, I was waiting all day for that. Um, Congratulations! Jim. <laughs> yes, thank you. Really happy for you. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel pretty good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cementing my dad joke, uh, you know. Uh, bona fides. Days. Oh, jinx. Okay, so anyways, uh, seriously, I'm so curious because I thought he was going to be a lobbyist the whole time. And there's two reasons why he's leaving. One is he's, I think he's genuine. Really? This place is a mess. Oh my God, I'm, right. I'm shocked. He's gonna be a lobbyist, Jink. Yeah, yeah, very, very likely. Yeah. But anyways, part one is he's genuinely like, we're not doing anything here. Like I came here to give tax cuts to the rich and cut your social security and they won't even let me do that. Well, I mean, he did <laughs> vote for Trump's tax cuts for the rich in 2017. Yeah, but that was a long time ago, man. He has He's so hungry, he's so thirsty, he hasn't voted for tax cuts for the rich in such a long time. So my point is that the Republicans weren't gonna do anything good anyway. Mm -hmm. But now they're doing nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just like children throwing food at each other. And so all the grownups wanna leave. In fact, as Anna was gonna tell you in a sec, uh, over 40 members of the House are leaving. They're like, this is this is bananas. What are we, this is just. And remember, they all have to raise money for most of the day. For four to six hours a day, they go into a room by themselves with a phone calling rich people and begging them. No, like, I'm no. begging you, please give me money, I'll do anything, I'll do anything. That's what their job is, it's a miserable existence. So the second part is he says, I wanna go help good government groups find better candidates. What are good government groups? I, I don't know, like what does maybe, that mean? maybe he joins a, a, an effort to, you know, uh, get money out of politics, and there are a couple of conservatives that are in that, and then the local level there are more, right? Uh, but more likely, he's just going to be a lobbyist, and uh, and he had a job offer waiting for him, and that's why he's leaving in the middle instead of at that. So we'll see how it all plays out, uh, or we won't. I don't know. We'll see if uh, there's any reporting on what uh, becomes of Ken Buck. But overall, I do agree with him in regard to how dysfunctional Congress is, and that has translated to incredibly low approval ratings for Congress because they're not carrying out any legislation that improves the lives of ordinary people. Yeah. So. And by the way, he was trying to get a job on TV before. So that gives you some indication that he'd like the money. All right, I guess <laughs> so. props for the confidence. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess he'd like some more bucks.